the outlook for these conditions can be very variable. If there is a little bit of protein in the urine and there is not an obvious underlying cause, the outlook can be very good with normal kidney function for 20, 30 or 40 years for the whole life of the patient. If you have nephrotic syndrome with heavy protein in the urine, then the outlook for the kidney can be less good, particularly or especially if this cannot be reversed. And people who have persistent heavy protein in the urine and the nephrotic syndrome is not treated and remains there, that can lead in some people to kidney failure, which doesn't happen suddenly, but can progress over anything from one year to five or 10 years, but can ultimately lead to the kidneys failing completely and then the need for dialysis or a kidney transplant. That's incredibly uncommon if there's low level protein in the urine, but commoner if the protein is very heavy. Chronic kidney disease can also have a very variable outlook. If it's very mild, and particularly if the amount of protein in the urine is low, the outlook is usually good with no impact on the kidney function and people retaining normal or near normal kidney function for the rest of their life. Some people with chronic kidney disease, especially if their blood pressure is not well controlled or the protein in the urine is heavy, can slowly lose kidney function and over a few years then end up on dialysis or needing a transplant if they wish to do that. So that's why control of things like the blood pressure is so important to try and protect the kidneys for the rest of your life. And this is a slowly progressive condition so the change doesn't happen suddenly. But as I said, that's a small proportion of the patients in general who will end up with kidney failure. And for most people, uh, they'll get small loss of kidney function that won't be so severe.